in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix this error message what we've got in front of us here you boot your machine up and this is what you're going to get when you boot your machine up it's a pretty tough one to fix and I'm still getting loads of messages from people saying how do I fix it I have got a Windows CD I've made a few videos on this but this is for Windows XP and I want to show you another program you can use to actually fix this error message it's called ERD Commander okay so you don't need a Windows CD to do this you can use ERD Commander so what I'm going to do is boot this PC up again to our CD and uh, we'll boot up ERD Commander and work it from there. Now ERD Commander has been around for quite a while but it's still useful to technicians because it's got some useful tools on it. So let me just uh, boot her up and show you what it's all about. So uh, I'm using a virtual box here and um, it's exactly, exactly the same as a PC or laptop um, to fix so it's the same principle so uh, I'll be just showing you this on a virtual box because that's the only way I can show you how to fix it. So I'll let this load up. Now I can skip the configuration, network configuration. I don't need it at this point, so I'm going to click stop that. Now what I need to do here is click on the uh, C Windows directory. This is the directory that we'll be using here. And as you can see, it's got Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2. Click OK. Now from here I can click on my computer. Now I'm not going to fix it this way, I just want to show you there's a few ways of going about fixing this error message from this location. You can see the C drive there, I can come into my C root directory. This is on the actual hard drive now, as you can see. And I can see the system volume folder there that's greyed out because it's hidden. Now as you can see we've got restore there. And you've seen me fix it this way before. Go into snapshot and copy these files across to the config folder and rename them. You can do it that way. I'm going to show you a much easier way if uh, you're a little bit dubious about going into that um, folder. So let me just show you a way of going in to system tools, system restore, big click next, and you can see the rollback part here. Click a dot in there. And what this is going to do is roll back to an existing restore point created by Windows. Um, so we're going to just do that now. Go next. And as you can see, I can see my restore points here. Now you may have more than this, but um, there's only two on this machine because it's just a virtual machine. It's just for testing purposes. But I'm going to click on this one. Go next. Then next again. And it will say, are you sure you want to perform the rollback operation? Okay. Say yes. Now you want to select one that's actually um, good for before you actually add the error message and that's the way you're going to get around this problem okay so once we've done that you can see it's saying now you have successfully uh, successfully completed the RD system restore wizard now click finish and once we click finish it's going to reboot so you need to take your CD out of the drive at this point and then we're going to reboot the machine so let's click on finish and we'll see if it boots up it's starting to load and there you have it one restored computer so that's how you can actually recover from that situation um, you don't need a Windows CD so if you follow this steps with Windows XP I think it works on Windows uh, 2000 uh, I think it works on Windows 2000 uh, something like that I'll have a check out for you I think it does um, but yeah I mean that's the easiest way to go about fixing it if you've got Windows XP okay so let's hope this puts this uh, error message to bed and uh, we'll move on to some new stuff so thanks again for watching guys my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember hit the subscribe button also if you've got any problems don't be posting them sending me messages anymore get onto the forums and actually post on there because that's where I'm going to be answering all the questions on there now I'm not going to be doing it through personal messages because it's too hard to keep track of everything and I'm missing people out so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now